Urban Legend Will Evans, you know what it is, bro. Let's talk about it. Now, we got Top Dog from TDE who's confirming that Kendrick Lamar has been baiting Drake since the beginning and that he had the Not Like Us song recorded months ago. This is crazy, bro. This confirms a lot of the things that a lot of the fans thought. Um, we heard the heart part six from Drake. You know, the last response. I think that's going to be the last diss in this battle um, because I think Kendrick is moving on to work on his album. And uh, Top Dog kind of confirmed that. And I'm going to show you guys what he said. Um, you know, and I think Drake kind of wants to bow out gracefully, too. We heard the lines in, in the, the heart part six where he says, OK, you got an album coming out, Kendrick. I'm done with it. Like, I, I see you trying to use me for your rollout. I'm done battling. Um, so he really waved the white flag in there. Now, let's get into what Top Dog said and get into these receipts, bro. Top Dog posted this on his Twitter, uh, April 5th, 2024. He said, dot, I see dead people. Now, if you don't know what that means, dot, I see dead people is the first line, the first thing that's said on Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us song, right? So that indicates that Kendrick Lamar has been preparing and planning this for months. So uh, we heard from Daylight, you know, Daylight said earlier on, uh, this week that, you know, Kendrick had a nuclear bomb and everybody should get out the streets, um, before the song came out, before the Not Like Us song came out, we heard, um, you know, I call him Ice Cube Jr. I thought that was funny, but, you know, O'Shea Jackson Jr. said that Kendrick wasn't done, um, before that song came out, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, so we heard all that, so we knew Kendrick had more coming, um, but to hear it confirmed from Top Dog or to see it confirmed from, from Top Dog that, you know, this has been planned for months, says that Kendrick was calculated like he said he was. You know, Kendrick had been planning this for a long time. And he gave Drake that warning in the songs like, bro, don't play with me like I got more. And if you want to keep going further, that's something you don't want to do. And Kendrick has been saying it the whole time. He's been saying that he got a bomb that he was going to do exactly what he did. Now, I want to get to some tweets that Top Dog put out, you know, because I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but uh, I thought it was interesting, you know. So this is from April 30th. This is right in the middle of the beef. Top Dog said, we saw everybody that showed their hand. This is the family. Dot still the king, TDE. So I thought, you know, that was Top Dog saying, you know, we see all you industry dudes out there that's going against Kendrick. We see how y'all, you know, reacting to Kendrick's work. We see how y'all, uh, you know, taking Drake's side and saying he killed Kendrick. And Top Dog is a very powerful label owner. He got Schoolboy Q over there. He got Sizzle over there. He got, uh, you know, Isaiah Rashad over there. He got a bunch of different Ab Soul. He got a bunch of different powerful uh, artists over there. So Top Dog is somebody that you want to have a good relationship with in the music industry, I'm assuming. Um, So for him to say that, you know, he probably looking at people a little funny. Like y'all looking a little funny in the light right now, bro. But we see what y'all doing. Now, he also said this. He also said, now that we see Dot is still king, it's time to address those who thought otherwise and showed their hand. Not like us, TDE. So I thought that was interesting too. Like Top Dog, like, okay, hey, on the business side of things, I'm going to address some of y'all. All y'all that was doubting Top, or excuse me, that was doubting Dot, um, you know, I'm going to address y'all too. Don't don't get it twisted. We we see who y'all are. We ain't going to hold no grudge, but we're going to see how y'all move in business after this. Because when all this dies down, y'all still got to come and do business. So y'all still going to want to do business. So when you want to get Sizzle on the song, yeah, yeah. When you want me to clear the sample, yeah. When you want Schoolboy Q on the feature or you want SZA on the feature, you want Absol on the feature or you want, you know, Kendrick to come do something for you. Nah, because they not top is not just talking about rappers. When he talk about this, he talking about the executives. He talking about the marketing teams. He talking about the radio department. He talking about somebody that could potentially want a job at TDE in the future. You know what I'm saying? So this is a bigger conversation. It ain't just about um, what rappers are not going to get features. It's about what samples are not going to get cleared. It's about what shows are not going to happen. It's about what, uh, you know, media platforms ain't going to get interviews. Um, this is about, you know, what, uh, what, uh, you know, rolling loud stage and festival stages are not going to get performed at anymore. This is about the favors that are not going to be done. So top dog is looking at it like he's supposed to look at it. Like y'all tried to kill my number one artist. Y'all tried to paint him a certain way in the media and we ain't going to forget about that. You know what I mean? We're going to remember who ran with the narratives that Drake put out there. So that's interesting right there for top to say that. Um, but after all that, he tweeted good battle, you know, he tweeted good battle dot, dot, dot. And that was the last thing he said about the situation. Now, I think that's him saying the good battle part. I think that's him saying, you know what? We ain't even about to go back and forth no more. I'm going to tell Kendrick to chill. You know what I mean? You did what you needed to do. The public opinion is clearly in Kendrick's side. Everybody's saying Kendrick won. Um, so obviously he did what he needed to do. Now, I think him saying good battle 
is like it's over with, you know, I think that's him indicating, you know, that it it was he's saying it in the past tense, like it was a good battle. So I think that's him indicating that it's a wrap. And if that's the case, I think everybody happy with it. I believe Kendrick has an album coming. Um, I'm pretty sure that everybody can feel that. Like if, if you paying attention, you could feel Kendrick about to go on tour this summer. Even the Not Like Us song, it sounded very performance worthy, like the end of it where he's like, say ho, v ho, you know, and all that. Uh, now step this way and all that stuff is it that's for performance you know that's for when he get on stage um after that first verse he can cut the second half of the song off and just do that part and um you know performance wise it'll go so that tells you that he's lining up shows uh if you listen to it that way and i think kendrick did what he needed to do i think he gave us hip-hop from every single angle i think drake did a good job too though i think drake did a good job until he started uh defending himself against what kendrick was saying like he spent too much time on that heart part six song defending himself instead of attacking you know and when you defending yourself you lost bro that means what he's saying about you is getting to you so much because what he's saying may have some truth to it i don't know whatever reason it is that you know uh is getting to you um but we saw the receipts you know so that stuff is getting to you drake and you looking at it and you like man i gotta defend this stuff to me i said he should have made a public statement to defend himself and use the songs to attack you know get on your instagram get your media team together your publicist whoever gonna do it make a public statement about the allegations and then when you're talking about these disc records go on these disc records and attack kendrick don't defend yourself like oh and some of them lines was crazy like who told you to write uh who told him to write you know if if i was a uh, if i was doing what he said i did <laughs> i'll be in jail that's not true, bro. People people escape jail all the time. People beat the system all the time, bro. Um, especially rich people. You feel me? So I didn't I didn't understand that angle. And I thought some of them lines is just like, bro, even the the Fantasia line, I'm like, uh, you know, but some of them lines was dope in there. But he didn't have no new narratives. I thought he just made a mistake. So um if this battle is over, I do understand Drake saying, you know what, I'm losing already. You know, I'm down 40 in the fourth quarter. I'm going to put this 10 points up. I'm going to go on a 10-point run real fast, and then I'm going to bow, bro. I'm going to take my L and move on because at this point, it's all bad. Like, it is his public image is being tainted. Um, You know, so if Top Dog is saying good battle and Top Dog is willing to let it go and we can just move forward, then I'll just move forward and take my L and, and try to get my career because at this point, you know, Drake is not playing Kendrick versus uh, Drake anymore. He's playing uh, Drake. Drake is not playing against Kendrick anymore. He's playing against, you know, the public opinion. And can I can I put another album out without being called a pedo, you know? So um, I think he has bigger battles to fight right now, you know, and I think he needs to stop what he's doing with Kendrick because at this point, bro, there's nothing that you could say that's going to make the fans feel any different about what's going on. So Top Dog say good battle. It's over. If I was Drake, I would leave it alone. If I'm Kendrick, I still attack. I'm probably, if I'm Kendrick, I'm going to try to drop another hit. Not not next week. I'm going to wait, you know, maybe a week or two, maybe even a month. And then I'm going to drop another one. And then I'm going on tour. Or I might drop the album right after all this. Because it don't make sense to uh, do all this and not drop an album. Like, bro, you got all the momentum on your side. If Kendrick drop an album, it's going platinum in the first week. You know what I mean? He going to do a million sales in the first week. Easy. So, I think it don't make sense. And I think Top Dog is a great businessman. I think Kendrick is a great businessman and calculated. And I think they smart enough to know this is the perfect time to drop an album, do this platinum album, go on tour for the next six months or whatever, be in every country and everybody going to be singing this um, coming right off the hills of him beating Drake in a battle. I mean, you just Kendrick just did something that everybody thought was impossible, which is, you know, he smoked Drake. He smoked Drake. He smoked on everybody top five and he proved everything that he said. He proved he was the boogeyman. He proved everything that he said he was, bro. So that's how I feel about it. Urban Legend 11s, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, bro. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here.